My name is Janine Knight and I am the Virtual Content Specialist for Students with Disabilities in Grades K-2 through Science. This presentation is about using virtual libraries for differentiation options in a science lesson. This video is available for Unit 2, Day 147, Grade 2, Beaches, Handbook of Lands and Water Read Aloud. This video will be found on the Engaging Students with Disabilities slide in this lesson. Digital Libraries, Using Digital Libraries for Differentiation. So today I'm going to discuss Epic Books for Kids, a free digital library for educators. Epic is an award-winning digital library for kids 12 and under. Once on Epic, your child will unlock a world of reading, learning, and discovery, getting instant, unlimited access to more than 35,000 high-quality books, videos, and so much more. Kids on Epic get to explore their interests in a safe, kid-friendly environment with no ads or in-app purchases. Epic's fast library features thousands of books, read-to-me and audiobooks, and learning videos, from animals and DIY to award-winning literature, STEM, and everything in between. Epic is personalized for your child, so they get recommendations based on their interests and evolving reading level. Got a future artist at home? A Lego fanatic? Or maybe a science lover? Kids love to choose what they read and watch, and with our constantly growing library, the possibilities are endless. To reinforce their learning, kids can take fun quizzes to test their knowledge and earn badges and rewards, so parents can track their progress and kids can feel proud of how much they've learned. Kids can easily and safely access Epic anytime, anywhere, online or off. It's an entire digital library of knowledge and fun at their fingertips. And it's just one click away. Discover why millions of kids love reading on Epic. In order to get started with Epic, you're going to go to getepic.com, choose educators, and then join Epic School. Complete Epic School, click continue. Once you have your account, you will then be able to just log in. So I'm gonna log in, students and educators. Remember, an Epic account for educators is free. Your students are able to use it for free during school hours. Today, I'm just going to show how to create a collection to offer students an option to the reading in the science lessons. Search beaches by topic. And you can search by author, topic. I'm going to actually narrow my search to nonfiction. And I'm going to see what's offered because you can search books, videos, read to me books where the book will read to any student who's not at the level to read on their own. There's audio books. So if you have a hard copy of the book, um, the student can listen to the book in their hand. And then there's, I could search collections. I want to make my own collection, so I'm not going to search collections right now. Here's National Geographic at the beach to read to me. Inside this book, readers will find a clear, accessible, step-by-step -step explanation of how weathering and erosion create sand. That seems pretty relevant. I'm going to add that to my library and definitely to the collection. I'm going to add these to a collection, and I'm going to name the collection Beaches and Erosion. I'm going to add a description right from the lesson. And I'm gonna keep this just with 
my class. So I'm not going to share this with the community yet. And I'm going to create that collection. Here is a preview of the books in the collection. So I may go through them once more or just give the students the option to go through them themselves. So I can assign this collection to students, assign to students. Here's Beaches and Erosion. I wanna also assign this in Google Classroom. So it gets assigned in Epic. So when they sign into Epic, which I would ask them to do as a differentiation option, they will see that this will be in their mailbox. Or you can just select specific students to send this to. So let's take a look at this collection. My library, my collections. So here is the one that I just created. I can open it up and then I can adjust it any way I want. So once I have the collection created, here is, here is the information that I want them to know. I can assign it, share it. I could share the collection with other teachers, just with students, with families, edit the assignment, or delete the collection. So if I want to edit the collection very easily, I can just go right here and assign a specific book, which I actually would, would do in this case. I can also preview the book. So let me show you. This one seems pretty relevant. Inside this book, readers will find a clear, accessible, step-by-step -step explanation of how weathering and erosion create sand. So this one is a book I would assign. There are many ways to use Epic in the classroom, not just in a science classroom, but any classroom. The first way that I use Epic in class is using them in small groups. Now they have audiobooks, but they also have read to me books. So one thing that I like to do first as a teacher is I like to model the behavior for my student so that my student or students um, know what I'm expecting of them or expecting them to do with the activity. So a lot of times what it'll be is we are at the rainbow table, which is right back here, and I'll sit with the students and I'll pull up the book on the app Epic and I'll click on it. I'll kind of show them how to navigate on the device and then I'll ask them to open to the first page, I'll click play and then I basically just sit and watch them as they track with the book on their book. I have several books in class that I have multiple copies of and that's great for audiobooks, but Epic also has these read to me books where the words kind of pop up and it really helps the student with tracking. There's also a little toggle switch that you can click um, once your students become a little bit more independent and they can um, toggle that over and then the words don't pop up at them. So there's a couple different options there. I also included ways to use the Epic Digital Library for grades three to five. This is a fifth grade teacher. Um, I really liked how she uses the books for research, which I think is important for science. I hope you get to use Epic books in your classroom. Thank you so much for listening and spread the love of reading and learning in your classroom. Get Epic for free. These links are linked on this slide presentation that will be available to you. You can follow Epic Books on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to get more really exciting and creative ideas for your science classroom.